Okay, the first one is uh, Pioneer. Didn't you look it up? Sorry? Didn't you look it up in your dictionary? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is this right? You know, uh, moving. Yes, as you said, mm -hmm. making you feel sad and depressed, worried. Okay. Very good. Touchy okay. also, you can say. Touchy. Mm -hmm. Touchy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the second one is uh, inundate. Mm -hmm. Means? It means uh, swamp. It's the synonym of that that I uh, got mm -hmm. from. Yes, swamp. Flood. Yeah. Overwhelm. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And uh, as I realized, uh, there are two different meanings for this uh, word. One informal and the other one is formal, yeah? Yes, sure. Actually, it has uh, a couple of meanings. One of them actually is the literal one. It means that actually uh, the flood or a great deal of water or actually liquid is overwhelming something. And the other one actually is that to be, uh, uh, let's say, over uh occupied with something and to be completely obsessed and yeah mm, right so literal and also figurative figurative okay and the third one is fruitless mm -hmm. uh, it means uh, uh, failing to achieve uh, what you want uh, is it right oh, yes useless Sorry, useless. Use. Yes. Mhm. Mm useless. It means actually it, it's abortive. Abortive means without any actually advantage. Okay. Mhm. Mm abortive. Next. Okay. Next, garbled. Mm -hmm. It means confuse, confusing, confused. Confused, yeah, here, confused. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and the verb uh, form is garbled, it means actually to confuse. To confuse, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one is sangin. Sangin. No, no. Uh, sanguine. Sanguine? Yes. Yeah, it's it means optimistic. Mm -hmm. Happy or optimistic. happy, uh, optimistic, mm -hmm. yeah. It is sanguine. Sanguine. Okay, very good. So, words in context. Uh, the search for the dog continued. Uh, okay, please. Okay. Meanwhile, the hearts. Meanwhile. <laughs> meanwhile, mm -hmm. the hearts had notified the local radio stations to broadcast the pi uh, pioneer. Uh, poignant. poignant oh my god please for a second uh, so meanwhile the hearts the hearts why do we have the hearts well uh, for that well as a matter of fact when it refers to the family name we put mm -hmm. the, the family name yes family name and referring to all the people in that family not just one person individually mm -hmm. <coughs> okay so and for example, uh, say, for example the Hariri yes exactly. mm -hmm. it's about the, all your family yes. yeah but you can means a force to no. force pill no it doesn't mean force mm. Sorry, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. It seems that you have problems. Okay. I don't know. A pill and we had in 504. Maybe uh, some asking. Mm -hmm. asking. Yes, it's better. It Requesting. Mm, okay. Requesting, not just actually forcing or force is so strong oh, okay. or too strong appeal yes. for means okay. uh, actually request in a very polite way 
polite way. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, let me see. The dog's waiting to come forward. Come forward means? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did you study this unit or not? Yes. <laughs> I studied, uh, I think, three hours, four hours ago. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. because actually in the first line you couldn't answer some questions. Uh, maybe yeah, I'm so strict and so attentive. No, you are the <laughs> same. Thank you. Um, well, come forward means volunteer to show up to to be ready to do something. Step step mm -hmm. up, step mm -hmm. up. Okay. So it says that actually, the local radio stations to broadcast a point in appeal for the dog's owner to come forward. It means to actually show up and to say that okay, I'm ready to have cooperation with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, okay. Um, the station, yes, continue. The station was uh, inunda uh, inundated uh, with phone calls, but all leads were fruitless. Okay, very good. The station was inundated with phone calls. That means it was bombarded with uh, phone calls, yeah. but all leads were fruitless. Lead here means? Um, all these um, here uh, refers or uh, maybe the cause of some cause of that no um, all these were fruitless uh, Arash does not know what lead means do you know what it means Is clues, pieces of information, news, necessary information. Okay, so uh, from what Bobby is Arash continue till uh, Fatima finds it. Okay. Okay. From what Bobby had told them, a huge dog had leaped out from a red station wagon in the supermarket's parking lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. From what Bobby had told them, a dog, a huge dog, had leaped out from the red station wagon in the supermarket's parking lot. Uh, th these sentences seem to be weird, and uh, actually, that's why it is garbled, confusing. You know, uh, yeah. A dog all of a sudden actually jumped out from a um, red um, station wagon in a supermarket parking. Market parking. It, it, is, it is actually was so strange or peculiar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Fatima, did you find it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, please. Fatima, you continue. Uh, yeah. We are in the middle of uh, line three. Yeah. After biting, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yes. After biting Bobby, it vanished. Mm -hmm. The six-year-old was too concerned with the bite he has he had received to see where the dog disappeared to. Okay. Well, uh, after biting, but after biting Bobby, it vanished. It refers to the duck. Vanish means Arash. Sorry, uh, I can't hear Fatima. Okay, uh, I had the okay, same problem, vanish. but we cannot. Wait. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Vanish means uh, conceal. Yes. Or, disappear. Uh, yeah. Disappear. Disappear. Yes. Disappear. Yeah. Do you know the, the difference between conceal and disappear? And disappear, not exactly. Conceal is transitive. It requires an object. Disappear is intransitive. It means it doesn't have any object. Oh, okay. So here we don't have any object. So it is intransitive. Yeah. 
mm -hmm. disappear. Is the oh, yeah. Conceal is the opposite of reveal. Okay. Right. So the six year old was too concerned with means. Uh, concerned with means. Uh, worried about something. Very good. Worried about. Uh, Mm, or worried? No, I'm sorry. It doesn't mean worried here. Concerned with means involved yeah. in. Involved Concerned in. about means worried about. Mm -hmm. But so uh, here he was, we have concerned with. Yes. He, it means actually he was so uh, preoccupied, obsessed, haunted, uh, and his attention was fixated on something. Right. Uh, the bites uh, that he had received to see where the dog disappeared to. So, sure. the six year old was too concerned. Uh, so, why. Uh, Sorry, can I ask yes. a question sure. here? Sure. About the uh, six year old. Mm -hmm. Why we don't have S after years? After year. Yeah, as a matter of fact, boy has been omitted semantically. Semantically. Mm -hmm. And okay. uh, so, uh, and six year old is an adjective for boy. And uh, we mm -hmm. don't we don't pluralize adjectives uh, in English. That's why we actually it is six year old, not six year old, six years old. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can say uh, six or for example ten years old uh, boy. We should no, say no. ten year old. Absolutely yes. Yeah. Okay. And also Thank you. Because of the fact that it is an adjective, and in in English we don't pluralize adjectives. Pluralize. Yeah. Okay. We're still concerned with or involved in or preoccupied, obsessed with the bites. Uh, he had received to see where the dog disappeared. So, could the boy uh, perceive where the dog disappeared? I don't think uh, the dog. The boys he had received disappear. I don't think. You don't think so? Mm, that the dog can uh, concerned okay why why he uh, why couldn't he see where the dog disappeared mm -hmm. why yeah. couldn't he see uh, do you still have traffic problems what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so what no, happened? I, don't, I don't have your voice <laughs> oh, okay yeah. all right so, uh, yes, remember actually the structure of two here, for example, uh, Arash, I think I explained it to you uh, in our uh, private class and I said that, for example, the tea is too hot for me to drink. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Exactly, actually, it is the same structure that it is, for example, say it is too concerned, the boy was too concerned about mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah to do something it means well, that he couldn't in. yeah as a matter of yeah. fact after to see where the dog disappeared it means that the boy could not see where the dog disappeared so it is negative yeah is it clear yeah it is mm -hmm. okay so father may you please continue yeah, the boy's story was garbled, mm -hmm. but he did remember that the animal was gray and he had a color, had a color, color. color. Okay. Yeah. okay, so the boy's story was garbled means? Means uh, mm, to produce yourself, uh, oneself. It was uh, so confused. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he was confused, but he did. He did remember. Why? Why has the writer used did? Place did before remember. Uh, because for emphasizing. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
to stressing to place emphasis to place emphasis on that that uh, the animal was gray and had the color and uh, Arish okay there was little tangible evidence to go on but the police remained sanguine okay uh, for the main correction no, nothing tangible not tangible mm, tangible mm. there was little tangible evidence to go on to continue but the police remained sanguine so the police remained optimistic about finding some leads or clues about the elusive mm -hmm. duck tangible means yeah. tangible sensible no it's not sensible no for the tangible accessible mm -hmm. understandable yeah understandable. obvious clear accessible Okay. Sensible. Sensible means logical. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the opposite of tangible is? Mm, I don't know. Pardon me? Intangible. Pardon? Intangible. Intangible. Yeah. I N. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Use the new words in number one. Uh, Pardon me? The sermon was poignant enough to bring tears to the brash delinquent's eyes. Correction. About the poignant? Yes, <laughs> hey, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For th several times, Arash has not been able to pronounce it correctly. and Yeah, it's, it's poignant. Timed. Oh, bravo. <laughs> <Yes>. yeah. <laughs> poignant, yeah. <laughs> Okay, the finally, was, yeah, yeah like, finally, and I'm sure you will be uh, remembering it forever uh, because you taught, right. you taught us. Okay, the sermon was poignant yeah. enough to bring tears to the brash delinquent's eyes. Uh, poignant means, what do you mean? Uh, poignant means uh, very doleful. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, yes. doleful and sad. Yeah. Okay, sermon means certain. Uh, the sermon means uh, a ceremony, um, um, a kind of uh, I forget uh, uh, Christmas ceremony. Mm -hmm. I think. Christmas? Can I? Can religious, I, yeah. religious. Yeah, religious. Uh -huh. religious <laughs> Talk and a religious or moral yes. subject. Say oration. Oration. Yes, oration. Uh, o r a t i o n. Try to learn these words in order to extend the course book to something else. A formal mm -hmm. public speech. Oration. A formal public speech usually religious okay uh, enough to bring tears to the brash delinquents who is a delinquent uh, someone uh, who does some crimes mm -hmm. a criminal a felon f-e-l-o-n uh, or can we say offending offending is a is an adjective delinquent mm -hmm. is a is a noun yeah right mm -hmm. uh, a person who offends others and brash uh, to be a stubborn stubborn aggressive too confident overconfident and loud okay Arish okay number two although the message was garbled its salient points were clear enough. Mm -hmm. Very good. Although the message was garbled or confused or confusing, its salient means? Uh, the most important things about, mm -hmm. about something. Significant points were clear enough. 
remember enough uh, in order to use an adjective and adverb actually you, don't, you need to put it before enough and if yeah, exactly. we need a noun it must be located after enough okay yeah like um, like fair enough mm -hmm. something that... and for example there is enough water in this class mm -hmm. okay yeah Fatima? Uh, after a fruitless attempt to wrest control of the government, the traitors were uh, incarcerated. Mm -hmm. After a fruitless attempt, uh, endeavor, trial, uh, okay, to wrest control of means? It means to take power of the government. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, to usurp power and take power of the government. The traitors were incarcerated, means? Means that in prison. Very good, in prison. Or captivated and arrested. Okay. Uh, four. Okay. Even though his boat was almost inundated, uh, inundated, inundated, inundated. Uh, inundated, the skipper was low to radio for help. Low? Sorry? Was low, you said? Loath. Loath. Uh -huh. yeah. Loath. Mm -hmm. To radio for help. Even though his boat was almost inundated, was sinking uh, the skipper who is a skipper uh, captain captain yes was loath to means <coughs> uh, unwilling be unwilling very good yes and then uh, what is the verb form of that uh, the verb form I don't know we had it in several sessions ago for the men? I don't know. For loath? Loath with E? Very loath. good. Yes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. also pronunciation changes. This is loath. Uh, oh. Actually, and the other one actually is loath. It has a buzzing effect. Okay. I couldn't got the difference between... Loath with verb. Loath. Yes, loath, no. and uh, it's a verb with an e at the end, and this one is loath. Mm -hmm. Loath. Yes, like thank you and this, thank, and this. Yeah, right. I remember, after loath, you need to use a gerund. For example, in order to change it to that form, you say you could say the skipper. A loathed radioing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. radio here, it means? Uh, radio here, uh, communicate or. Uh, mm -hmm. Send signals. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, send signals. And yes. we had something tra trans. Transmit? Transmit. Like that. Transmit. Transmit. Yes, very good. Yeah. Transmit. For help. Okay? Yeah. Uh, here, radio has been used as a verb. All right, uh, follow me. Yeah. Because the malignancy had gone unchecked, the surgeons were not sanguine about the patient's chances. Mm hmm. Malignancy means? In um, a severe illness. Mm -hmm. uh, terrible conditions, usually referring to a tumor, tumor uh, in a body, tumor. And uh, the adjective is malignant. And what is the opposite of that? Means uh, sanguine or... Um, Sanguine? No. No. Mm. It starts with B. Arash. B, B9. 
Pinoy. Pinoy, yes. Pinoy. Yes, mm-hmm. Okay. So, a cancerous tumor could be either benign or malignant. If it is benign, it is dangerous and in most cases, incurable. If it is malignant, I'm sorry, if it is malignant, it is dangerous. If it is benign, it is treatable. Yeah. Treatable, yeah. Mm-hmm. Inundate to flood. Fruitless, useless, poignant, moving, painful to the feelings. Garbled, confused, mixed up, sanguine, optimistic. And uh, idioms, Arash? Okay. To feather, to feather one's nest. Mm-hmm. Grow rich by taking advantage of circus, uh, circumstances. Circumstances. Circum- s- sorry? Circumstances. Circumstances. Mm-hmm. Uh, while working as the tax collector, uh, collector, collector. He ad- collector. The first one was mm-hmm. right. Yes. Okay. He adroitly uh, feathered his own nest. Yes. So he just took everything to his own benefit and take advantage of the condition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, F- feather or feather? Feather. Please. Feather. Feather. Yes. Which is a stressed syllable. Feather. First syllable. Okay. Feather. Yes, first syllable is stressed. Feather. Okay. Uh. All right, so is it a positive or negative attitude, feathering your nest? Uh, I think negative. positive. Negative. Negative, negative. Yeah. yes. Why? Because you, uh, you turn out to be opportunistic and you take advantage of the conditions in a very bad way or in a selfish way. Mm-hmm. I misuse your position. Yes, very good. Yeah. You yeah. misuse your position and abuse others. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Fatima, are you ready to give a lecture? 